Yo everybody, what's going on? This is Keegan from K-Man Reviews. If you enjoy this review, make sure you hit that like and the subscribe button. And if you have any opinions at all that you would like to share, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. The baby, my brother's keeper, long live G. The baby, American rapper, singer, songwriter, hailing from North Carolina and a big force in the rap scene today. Rising to prominence off the back of his hit single Suge and featuring on 2019's Double XL Freshman Class, The Baby's done quite a lot in his currently brief time in the spotlight. I've already reviewed The Baby's last two albums as of recording this video, Kirk and Blame It on Baby. Both will show up in links in the corner for you to go check out, but this time we have a debut EP to talk about My Brother's Keeper, parentheses, Long Live G, released as a tribute to The Baby's older brother Glenn, who unfortunately took his life via gunshot in early November of this year. So is this EP a proper tribute? Let's find out as I review it track by track. Since there were really no singles to this, we'll just start at the top of the track list with that being the semi-titled track Brother's Keeper, which has these painfully personal lyrics about his childhood, his mom working two jobs for minimum wage, always raised properly, and if either of them spoke out or did something bad, it was a whooping for them which unfortunately fell on Glenn for being the oldest sibling, and back to the present, he's got no one there to talk and vent to, and now he's just gonna take care of his nieces and nephew. It's a really brutal listen, but not really helped by the pulsing bass and skittering drum on the track, but when that hook kicks in, everything strips to an acoustic guitar and to Baby's clearly exhausted and torn voice, it really shows how much he's going through. Yeah, this is a great opening track. Eight Figures featuring Meek Mill opens up in a slower style, with deep bass vibrations and a monologue about DaBaby talking about his current emotional status and how he's going to start honoring his brother, asking him to say hi to his father while he's up in heaven, who also passed away a year earlier. Then the melody comes in, which is a fairly strong vibe, has a catchy flow as well, detailing a lot more braggadocio, getting money, carrying these ungrateful people, but also makes sure to talk about how he wishes his big brother would just get up. Meek Mill takes second verse, and he's probably one of the most fitting features for a track like this. Meek can have a genuine emotional delivery, and he displays that perfectly here, sounding on the verge of a breakdown as he raps about his broken friendships, seeing all of his friends fall off once they let the money get to their heads. I mean, this is another really great track. Shania is an even more gut-wrenching song about the loss the baby is suffering through, but mainly dealing with the loss that his brother's children suffered as well, how the baby hates the fact that they saw the incident happening, and then holding those children as he stands over the deceased body. It's vivid, it's almost morbid how deep he goes into details over this eerie low-key synth melody, bass thumps and skittering drum. It is a rather short track, and a difficult one to fully immerse oneself in, with the imagery painted here. Not a song I'd recommend diving into expecting a bop, it's introspective and it does a great job at being such. Gucci Peacoat comes out of the gate swinging with a quicker, more aggressive flow for the first 30 seconds, but then dissipates into a calmer, moodier, rapping, half singing over the flat drums and bass and muted synth work. The baby is easily the star of the first leg of the track, but then the second leg comes in which is a fairly long semi-interlude with a spoken word message from his brother with responses by DaBaby. It's warm and touching with him just thanking DaBaby for giving him the opportunity to live his best life, and how he's proud of DaBaby with how far he's come. As an interlude for this EP, it's really damn prominent and stands out over everything else. As a song, I mean it really doesn't have those qualities to make it something to put on casually, but it is still heartwarming nonetheless. Handgun featuring No Cap and Polo G is probably the closest this EP gets to having a true bop. It feels like a track that would have been on one of his two previous albums. For one, the beat is just such a DaBaby type beat. The heavy bass thumps, the light trap percussion, and the synth melody that blends in pretty flawlessly. DaBaby really brings his signature flow back on this track as well. Polo G takes second verse and he's just as good as he's always been, although I do think his verse could have been a couple of bars longer. And no cap kind of didn't get the memo about what kind of project he was on, as he just does a standard verse which weirdly doesn't feel right at all. Regardless, as I mentioned, this is much more of a regular cliche rap song, and it is a little bit of a nice change out through this EP. I enjoy it. 
Bidness featuring 2C is probably the furthest here from Bob status, which is mainly held back by the slower tempo and the oohs in the background of the instrumental that just do not stop. They get pretty irritating very quickly. But other than that, the track still kinda slaps a little bit with a much heavier track drum and more constricted bass slaps. The baby harnesses his signature flow yet again, and it does float across the beat pretty well. Tusi takes second verse, and he has much more of a nasally, mumbly delivery, but it is a pleasant contrast to the baby as it's nearly a polar opposite voice. Lyrically, yet again, it is much more standard, disregarding his haters plus venting about his daily issues. It's a fine track, but it doesn't click with me in the same way the rest of the EP does. And finally, the closer More Money, More Problems is the other true bop on this little EP, but it's also the furthest away from this EP's initial motive. The track features DaBaby's most generic rapping out of any song here, and I'm not sure if this is how he planned it, to have all the emotional introspective tracks at the start, then most of the bops at the end, but it's not that bad of an idea. I, it just kind of feels a little bit disappointing that a track about getting money from shows, having a girl suck your dick, and bragging about the size of your house is on the same EP that you're tributing to your deceased brother. Regardless, it is still a catchy song. The baby's flow is still here, even if it is a faster one, and the soft acoustic guitar combines again with a thick bass. Good song, but its merits here are questionable. Overall, yeah, I was very surprised with this EP as it's probably one of the best things the Baby's released in a while. It's got some good bangers on it, some reflective songs as well. It's a healthy mix, but I'm just a bit conflicted at the fact that there's bragging songs on an EP that's pretty much a memoir. It just doesn't feel all that fitting, but if we are just looking at the tracks here, it's very solid, and I will most likely return to most of them. I'm feeling a 7 out of 10 on this EP. Well, guys, Hope you enjoyed that review. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.